Welterweight Championship Showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and Robert Whittaker. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. champion if he can another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Welterweight Championship fight. Three years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, introducing the challenger, Robert Whitaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Colby Chaos. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. striker versus grappler am i simplifying things too much in this instance you aren't because this is what got these two men to the show right one guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet the other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start 
of the grappling exchanges. Covington gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to stand up in the boxing. And that is a full display right now. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lands with a right hand. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Spinning back fist is there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he is up. But man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, Todd Clark. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. You are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Covington gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, looks like that shot was a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Covington gets hit by that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but real. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got a pressure. He's got to take that finish down now. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. What a performance. For our replay guys to work with in the truck, this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position.
The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new. UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.